Hello and welcome to Python episode 1. So we're going to start right up in the shell here. And we're going to go for... Um, we're going to go for to start... Alright, we're going to type this. There we go. So there's the uh, print command there. Uh, all right. So yeah. All right. So it's case sensitive. Let's uh, so we do this. Okay. So we get a blank line. Let's have a look. We do this. Blank line. Let's try that. All right. All right. Okay, so that's good. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, so now we need to think about functions. Uh, okay. All right. So yeah. So this is a. Uh, uh, this is a str so it's a string, string literal. We're literally typing in. We'll put in there. There we go. All right. All right. All right. So if we go for uh, something like this. Right, print is not defined. So there you go, you can see case sensitive there. And let's try this one as well. All right, so the call to that uh, function didn't work. The print is not defined, it is undefined. I guess it's not defined. That's the one interesting thing, isn't it? One of the interesting things is when you're uninterested, you're not interested. When you're disinterested, you have an objective approach. I quite like that one. All right. But disdefined isn't a word. It might be, though. You never know. All right. Um, so, yeah. Um, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, so we get this name error. Name print is not defined. All right, so it's sort of that naming system. Maybe maybe print is a keyword of some kind. Um, reserved. A special reserved word might be. Um, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm. Mm. All right, so you can see the print is in purple. Uh, the string there is in uh, green. And the output is in blue. So the special, the special keywords, purple, Strings, green, output, blue. Purple, green, and blue. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I'll just, I don't know if I'll keep on just humming when I, and I don't want to talk, but I may just remain silent. 
Um, or I may vary it. I may have some periods where I would hum and some where I remain silent. All right. All right, so now we're going to think about uh, how do we save the program. So if we press Control and N, we get a new window. Uh, and if we print uh, string literal, and then we do a carriage return, nothing happens. So, um, the reason for that is because we haven't saved it yet. So we would go to save as, control shift in S. Yeah. This makes sense. And it's put it back here. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just do uh, YouTube there or something. I guess it'll be alright here. And we'll call it string literal dot pi, say something like that. Right, there we go. Uh, and then we should do run module F5. And you can see it does all the uh, whatever it does passing, compilation, decompilation. Who knows what's going on? So, there we go. We certainly initiate it again because we have to restart. All right, so basically, there's two modes then. So, that mode was, uh, was as, um, a script mode, so you can write a large block of text. Uh, block of code, and then uh, this one is just uh, interactive mode for uh, you know quick uh, results to see what is actually happening um, in real time. Uh, yeah, and using both modes together is is the best thing to do. Uh, All right, so yeah, so try stuff in interactive is a good idea, but do the main stuff in script. Okay. All right, so now the issue is, um, if you had run this, uh, like uh, normally what would have happened is it would have just carried on it would have gone through the reading it all and then it would have just closed the window straight away. So the next thing we're going to write, all right, mm -hmm. all right, so we look at how, how it's actually uh, dealing with the code. So again, we're going to go Control N, and we're going to go to script mode. Now we're going to use a comment notation, which is a which is a hashtag. Uh, 
And so this is going to display, if we go down, see it's not there anymore. This is going to display uh, how to uh, force user input without shutting down uh, the terminal window or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making it out really. Might be called that. Might not be pretty cool something else. All right. So. There we go. So there's some comments. Obviously, uh, compiler doesn't give a shit about that. Uh, yeah, I could. Uh, one convention is you just capitalize the first letter of every line, but that's, that's meh. I certainly don't want to do that. Not in my comments. Unless I find that offensive. So, um, yeah, I mean, comments are just, you know, comments are comments, really. Do what you want with them. Uh, so I will. Yeah, I know they're for the humans. Okay. Interestingly, if you did something like this. Yeah. Is there something funky going on with the comments? I think there might be. Yeah. I guess I could put put the date here. All right. And that should be okay without space. That might be a nice, nice convention that. All right, so the next thing then to do is uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So that that blank line is going to um is going to uh what's it? Going to be ignored. It's going to be just go through it. We'll zip through it um, and decide that this sort of white space here is 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 not worth looking at. All right. So yeah. All right. So now we're going to want the user input. So now we've got the new line stuff. Make some more notation here. Two of them, eh? Interesting. So one of them looks like. Uh, hmm. It's quite nice actually. It's quite a nice language, so I chose it. Um, so yeah, you think one of them is probably new line, and then one of them is actually uh, actually doing it. All 
Alright, so yeah. So we'll save that and then we're going to run it. Uh, so this can be a uh, new line. I probably should get out of this camel casing. I don't even know if that's what they do here. I didn't save it correctly. See, it's not actually there. I'll have to delete that in a minute. There we go. I saved correctly. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this thing that we just made. And you can see we get a little command window here. Press the enter key to exit. Works very nicely. Okay. And we were here. All right, let's see what else is, is going on here then. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh. Yeah. All right, so basically there's um uh right, let's try one thing though just well no, I'm not going to try. I was thinking of just putting something else in here, but seeing what happens, but meh. It's important not to really, I don't really want to, I really want to try and make sure I don't do that sort of stuff. It always annoys me. No, that's fine. All right, let's do a new window control in. Okay. Uh, what are my syntax for that? Did it like this? Didn't I? A name. Then we'd have to gap here. So there's different ways to present. Oh right. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, sorry. I thought it was something else. All right. So. So yeah. So. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have used the example now. They're not included. Well, well, that's kind of an apostrophe. Well, that was a comment. <laughs> yeah, that's quite funny. So there we go. So we put something like that. All right. Cool. Yep.
All right, so there's different ways we can do this. Uh, so we can do something like uh, I don't want to start that. This always annoys me that you can't get it right the way you want it. But at least you can see from a vertical line directly down a bit better. I, like, I mean, that's quite nice. Yeah, and then when you close it, that's uh, yeah. That's when you, it highlights it all for you. That's quite cool. But yeah, so as long as you've got the brackets to close everything off, it makes no difference, basically. So let's have a look and see what happens when we go back to the interactive uh, compiler. I wonder if there's, there's a way to select the line, I wonder. Oh, I'll just do the way I used to do it. Sorry. <laughs> this is probably about the slowest way to do it possible. All right, so we'll go back to the interactive compiler here. See those double quotes? <laughs> yeah, they're right there. If you can't, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I've incorrectly wrote that actually. We don't need this one, do we? Yeah. yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Obviously, it makes no sense, but it doesn't matter. What? Error online, I bet that means. Quite, it's quite nice actually. All right, so the error is. Yeah. You need to end it with a with double quotes. Let's try this one. Okay, yeah, I have no this sort of problem. So that actually worked, but basically you need to have, from what I can tell, uh, let's try a third double quote. So let's see if we get a funky error of any kind. <laughs> exactly the same error. All right, even amounts of double quotes. Uh, but it shouldn't matter with the single quotes, right? Let's put an odd number there. All right, so we can uh, tidy that up a bit. And I think it's better to put it at the end there like that. Tidy that up. 
Yeah, yeah. Fun this language, isn't it? It's quite fun, I've got to say. It's quite, it's quite, I know it's a pretty basic language. That's why I decided to, to go for it. All right, so. Uh, yeah, so what was the other one? Oh yeah, there's something else as well I've missed. Let's try this one. All right. All right. So let's try. Um, let's try something a little bit more. Uh, So he was running, yeah. So this this would probably be something you'd actually probably do in, a, in like a game or something. Yeah, yeah. So what this should do is the quotes. So there's an even number of quotes on the line, but need to do that actually. Mm. This, is, this is where I get annoyed because it's not quite what I want. Oh well. It's all right. Problem is you can't actually. I don't think you can actually execute two different code, two different lines at the same time, though. Oh, well, you can. Maybe I should use not that word. Let me just try this. I know it doesn't make sense now, but I just wonder if that's actually a proper word. Uh, it is a proper word. I can't do what I was thinking of doing. I didn't realise end was actually a proper word. So I just didn't try and do something stupid. That should make no difference. Let me just try that one more time. Why is it only executing one line? All right, so yeah, uh, that puts in two spaces. I want to do that though. So yeah, we can save that, and uh, check this out again. So we got he was running quickly there. Obviously, there's a problem here with the line with my long sentence at the beginning. And it was like, even traversing across lines, it doesn't actually do anything because there's no. All right, there's no, there's no proper formatting there at all. 
So that's why nothing is happening. All right. Uh, all right. So yeah. So mm, what else is there to talk about here then? Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's, that covers that section anyway. There's a pretty little bit over. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, so the single quotes are obviously part of the string, and uh, the double quotes part of the syntax. All right. Okay, there's one more as well. Okay, so the next one is this one. What's that end business about? I don't know what end actually means. You see, I think it depends what you actually put the actually do something dot dot dot. I think it might. I think it does. Huh. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there anyway. I've probably gone down enough for the first episode. So yeah, that'll be it for this episode. So